Hello, my friends. In this ModLink project, I am building the ModLink kit of the German Hanamag SDKFZ 251 slash one half track in scale one by 35 from Tamiya. German Hanamag SDKFZ 251 slash one half track is in scale 1 by 35 and the figures are included. Also, the box includes the manuals where as you can see, it is a 15 steps model kit including the figures. There are some other papers too, couple parts, sprue and miniature decals, a typical Tommy model kit. Let's go. Cutting the meter panel, water tank, wheel, etc. And then we'll sandpaper to smooth them out. Smoothing out the parts with the cutter and sandpaper. When needed, using the cutter carefully in the opposite direction to avoid cutting or damaging the parts. Assembling and gluing the parts like so. The wheel I had already painted black. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Repeating the process with the floor, seats, etc. Kept the shaft separated in groups because they are not all the same. Assembling the shafts, without gluing them, like so.
gluing the shaft support and the completed floor. Off camera I prepared the front axle and the wheels, gluing the seats first. Drive sprockets. Testing how I will place the wheels. This is how you do it. Gluing the wheels. Axle and hook gluing. The upper part and the back doors I assembled and glued off camera. Foremost part of the body. The gaps I will fill with plastic putty. Gluing the side fenders, shovel, hook, hammer, lamp, etc. tires attaching the fenders even though the manual says to do the caterpillar tracks first however i would like to try it my way
replacing the front and side windows as well as the rail for the machine gun and winker mirrors. Off camera I placed the machine guns without gluing them. Taking the machine guns away in order to paint the vehicle. The Yeho's German Panzer Grey, surface primer, and airbrushing. We'll do the Caterpillar tracks too, off camera though. Vallejo's model air, German grey, and airbrushing. Gloss varnish on the outside of the vehicle before placing the decals, else they will color degrade over time. Off camera we'll do a second coating. MIGS decal set before placing the decals and MIGS decal fix afterwards. The first prepares the surface and the second takes care of any curves, bumps, etc. Pressing with a cotton swab to take away the excess air or liquids below the decal without damaging it. Repeating the process. The decals are in place. Decal fix. Depending on the decals placement you may need to coat twice. Mix acrylic color, brush and airbrush rubber and tires and painting the tires. I painted the tools on the side fenders off camera.
These seats Tamiya doesn't propose what to paint them but I chose the army painter, war paints, leather brown, and painting. Mix acrylic color, metal silver, and painting the lights and mirrors. Gloss varnish the lights and mirrors. Yeho's model air, German grey, mixed with some white, and with a small sponge chipping away. Remember to twist and turn the sponge around, in order to not repeat the same pattern again and again. Yeho's model air, burnt umber. Mix acrylic color, brush and airbrush, medium rust. Mix acrylic color, brush and airbrush, old rust. 
I want to tone down the previous medium rust because it is brighter than I was expecting it to be. Mix of Vallejo's Model Air, Burnt Umber and Van Dyke Brown Pigment. Once again with a sponge, muffler chipping. Forgot to say that I added a chain on the front of the vehicle and made it look rusty as an added detail. using a small brush for this area here. Mix acrylic color, brush and airbrush, old rust here and there. Pigment Fixer, Modeling Pigment, mixed with some black pigment, for the illusion of muffler stains. Mix Europe Earth, Modeling Pigment, for added detail. Black washing. Here after it will dry, I will add some more pigment. Removing with a wet brush the excess black washing. I am going more of a dirty, used, etc. look. Because in some areas the chipping seems stronger than I was aiming for, I am light black washing the vehicle. some light rust on the floor in here.
little bit of darkening with the old rust. Once again, I am adding some more pigment. Some pigment fixer. As soon as the fixer is dry, the pigment will once again be clearly visible. With my tools carefully creating some battle scars, Black wash oil painting. Mix of oil painting colors, yellow ochre, red, and burnt umber. Kept it bit watery, and some more rust details here and there. Black wash oil painting here and there. heavy mud, wet mud, mixed with MIGS enamel odorless thinner, and painting all the lower parts of the vehicle including the caterpillar tracks.
placing the caterpillar tracks on a clean piece of paper. We'll sprinkle some Mixurip Earth, modeling pigment, with a brush on the caterpillar tracks. With a harder brush I am dusting off the excess pigment from the top of the tracks. Repeating the same process on the other side of the tracks. Using a cotton swab if and when needed. dark earth, modeling pigment. Placing the tracks on a clean piece of paper. Mix pigment fixer, modeling pigment, on both sides of the tracks. Mixurip Earth, modeling pigment, on the wheels, below the fenders and at the bottom of the vehicle. Mixing makes dark earth, modeling pigment, with acrylic thinner. With a hard brush I am splashing the mix here and there. 
Because I mixed it with the thinner, the pigment will look better and become visible sooner. Some Mix Europe Earth modeling pigment on the Caterpillar tracks that I already have attached on the vehicle off camera. Painting some mixed medium density mud, splashes, wet ground on the tracks. Viejo's engine, oil stains, on the bottom of the vehicle, and few key parts that one would find such stains. Hobby knife and removing the excess weathering effects. The Army Painter war paints, plate mail metal, metallics, dry brushing, Placing the machine guns without gluing them though. No. 
off-camera prepare the figures. Let's assemble the first one. Gluing. bag, gas mask, water bottle, etc. I will glue the weapon later on. I have bent the hands a bit for a better weapon placement. Off camera I have assembled the rest of the figures. Surface Primer German Panzer Grey Airbrushing Mix of Viejo's model color, acrylic colors, dark flesh and cocky brown, and the army painter, war paints, oak brown. Painting Off-camera painted the eyes, hands and helmet chin strap. Vallejo's model air, German grey, and painting. Yeho's model air, pans are dark grey, and painting. Dark green painting. Flat black painting for a bit to showcase it to you but I will finish off camera.
flat black painting. Vallejo's game color, cocky, painting. The Army Painter, War Paints, Plate Mail Metal, Metallics, and Painting. Off camera I made few grey details here and there. Vallejo's model air, German grey, mixed with white and doing some highlights. The highlights on the upper part of the figure were stronger than I expected, so, off camera, I toned them down. Light gray and some more highlights. The Army Painter, Quick Shade, Flesh Wash, and Washing. Starting from the hands and then we'll do the face.
white dry washing. Don't mind how strong it looks. I will black wash afterwards and it will look exactly as I want it to look. Gloss varnish on the helmet before placing the decals. Mix decals set before placing the decals and pressing with a cotton swab to take away the excess air or liquids below the decal without damaging it. The Army Painter, Quick Shade, Strong Tone, which is basically a black and brown mix. Washing. The figures are ready. Once again keep in mind that the highlights seem stronger on camera because of the studio lights and the helmet glosses because of the decals. Everything is so much softer in reality. I have attached their weapons and other objects. One of them will be the vehicle's machine gun operator. Hopefully you like the project and you will enjoy the presentation. Since I am a new to this amazing art, please do share your words of wisdom in the comments below.
hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.